Hi everyone, I sincerely hope that you can hear me. I am having the most amazing time with technology lately. Every time I try to do a live, something happens. Uh, if it's not my microphone and my speech being not synced, it's you can't hear me. Uh, and this morning, my iPad, which I've decided to use, decided not to turn, so I would have been sideways. And then the stand that I had my iPad on decided to collapse. And this was all at about five to ten. <laughs> So if you're here and you can hear me, thank you. Uh, I had a plan, sort of, for this live and as life would have it, Mercury retrograde has kind of made me a bit frazzled. So I'm going to take a, a little breath <sighs> and try and relax into the technology mishaps that can take place on social media and any kind of live events. I'm trying to look at you because my camera is that way so it's a bit confusing today. Ah, catch up with Kelly. Now I haven't been doing my lives on Kelly Martin Speaks for ages and I kind of wish that I could have done more but I've been so busy doing Peace Within Radio that I just haven't had the time or the energy I'm on quite a journey right now and I just wanted to talk a bit about journeys for anybody who is on a similar experience to me. There are times in life when we take a journey that is, it's not like a trip, it's not like going on holiday where you go and see some nice things and it's very interesting and then you come back home. But when you return from that trip, you return unchanged you don't actually have an inner change that takes place. Now real big journeys, the sort of life-changing journeys where you go, you leave your home or you maybe do something difficult like you let go of your partner, you go through a divorce, you change your career, you are going through a health issues. Those are the journeys that can kind of change us on the inside. And those journeys, while they may feel very exciting at times, they can also be very, very hard, very scary. They can be exhausting and confusing. Uh, they can make you feel like, who are you? Uh, who am I? Uh, where am I? What is happening in my life? Why does everything feel so strange? everything is even more uncertain than normal and the journey can just be such an awakening process that we just have to go through the process of feeling completely out of sync literally in the way that my lips have been out of sync on my videos recently life feels out of sync because we're not only out of our comfort zone we're not really in any kind of zone that we, we recognise. It can be such a big leap or a big change that's happening for us that we feel very shaky on every single level. And no matter how much we try and comfort ourselves or calm ourselves or familiarise familiarize ourselves with our new surroundings, the new surroundings haven't settled yet so it's like a shifting carpet we're on and it's just shifting all of the time. For me doing this new radio station feels so big it feels like there's such a huge amount of responsibility to take care of all the pieces that need to be brought together and to be aware that I don't know what I'm doing. It's new. I don't know how it's all going to work out. I haven't got all of the pieces together yet. I'm literally living on faith, on a prayer, trusting that 
even though I don't know how this journey is going or where it's going, that I've, I've got to surrender my control to the journey and how it unfolds. And we've got to continue to commit to the journey, whatever the journey is. And one of the hard parts of taking a journey that is not just external, but majorly internal, is that we have to mourn what is left behind. We might feel excited about this new thing that we don't know what it is, this new life, but we're also saying goodbye to an old story, an old identity. It may be people as well we're saying goodbye to. And that can be feel that can feel really disconcerting because you're trying to just get used to the new, but you can't yet because you're not in the new. You're not it's a really strange it's it's the only way I can see it is that you're standing in the middle of a, a chasm and you've got one foot on one side and one foot on the other and you're standing over this big deep chasm and you or chasm is it chasm or chasm I don't know my brain's gone a bit this morning and you don't know how you're going to get over to the other side you're a bit fr you're afraid to let your take your foot off the old story and you're afraid to go to the new story so you're just sort of dangling and you're dangling there until everything starts to settle down and everybody seems to want this security in life this sense of security they want to know where they're going what they're going to be doing how are they going to get there who's going to be there whether they're going to have enough money, enough love, enough everything. But the real journey is actually allowing yourself to not want that sense of security. To accept there isn't that sense of security. The sense of security is being totally secure about being insecure. And being totally certain about uncertainty and the unknown. Because when we're going on this journey, we're leaving behind our support network. We may be leaving behind those places and people that felt really comforting to us. We're releasing our identity and we're going towards an unknown destiny. And we may not have a clue what's going to happen. Right now, I have a million things to do and I'm also aware that I can't fall into old habits which is my old story where I would literally stop and try and do too much I'd try and overwork to really fight myself to get what I wanted. I tried to get control of whatever it was that I wanted to do. And I know that I can't do that right now. I have to really let it all unfold. And it's to trust my heart that I don't know if things are gonna work out. I don't know if all the pieces are gonna to come together at the right time. I don't know if I've got the skills or the talents to do this. But I have to trust that I'm on this journey because there are skills, talents, new ways of being and a sense of, I guess, new maturity and finding my own wisdom and my own intuition as I go along and taking that journey. So that is the journey. So if you're on a similar train as me right now, give yourself a pat on the back. You know, you're doing okay. It may be wobbly, you may be having health issues, you may be having uh, relationship issues, you may have money issues, you may be having whatever, but you're journeying anyway. And that's really courageous to actually take steps into the unknown, even when you, everything in you just wants to hold on to what you know, because it feels a lot safer. That's just a little catch up on me right now and I just wanted to say that if you want to be part of Peace Within Radio and be on the Mental Health and Music radio station 
from the comfort of your own home. It's not an intimidating thing. You haven't got to go live on air. If you feel like you've got a voice to share, encouraging words to people who are suffering, I really welcome you on the station. So pop over to Peace Within Radio on Facebook. We have a focus group and we need voices even to just share pre-recorded poetry or quotes or messages of wisdom and inspiration to people. So pop over there if you can. And hi Angela and hi Sue and hi Sandra. I'm really hoping that I'm actually on my page right now because I had to jump through hoops to get my live today because my screen was not landscape and everything wasn't working. So I'm hoping that you can see and hear me okay. And it's really lovely to see you all. I really planned to do this yesterday, but I had so many tech problems that I just, I had to just give up and I needed to get into my pajamas and just chill out. <laughs> So I'm on a journey and I haven't really got, a, I have got a support network online and it's really lovely and I've got a great friend who I live with and people I meet occasionally. I'm also on a journey at the moment of because I'm not into the new story, I'm still a little bit in the old, that I've been feeling a bit uh, isolated because I've been so busy doing stuff that it's, um, I haven't really been seeing that many people in reality and I'm, I miss that and I guess part of me, part of this journey is maturing into a new story of friendship so that I can allow in more friends that I can relate to uh, in my local area and I'm also aware that maybe I need to do some new things outside of what I'm doing right now and put myself out there. Last year I was out there all the time. I was meeting new people, doing groups and workshops and this year I've been like a bit of a hermit, a bit isolated in my own little cocoon and I want to, I know I've got to, open to meeting people again and uh, and I will do and I just don't know if now is the time the station launches on April the 1st so I've got all this craziness to do and finding content for the station has been a lot harder than I anticipated and so that's a journey as well to know that when it does launch it will launch and to trust that however it unfolds is the way it's meant to be and then in May I'm going to see my mum who's on her will be on her final cycle of chemotherapy and I wanted to thank you all for the love healing and prayers that you sent to her she's doing pretty well I'm really proud of her she's so strong I've never known anybody go on chemotherapy and be so positive like she has and she's lost her hair like you naturally do when you go on chemotherapy she's been a bit more tired than usual but she's she's a trooper she actually there is i would say there's unknown strengths in her that have been awakened because of this cancer and chemo journey and i think in a way i was more worried and more scared of her journey than i was of than she was of her experience with health and healing and I don't know if I would have coped so well going through ovarian cancer scares or the stuff that happens with chemotherapy. I really don't know if I would have been that strong and I am so incredibly proud of her. So we're all on lots of journeys and I'd really love to know in the comments what your life's been like recently. Is it, has it been tumultuous, chaotic? Has it been a bit changeable or scary or have you felt like you're a bit stuck in a rut and you don't know how to move through that I'd really love you to comment and perhaps in future lives I could uh, again dedicate a live to your question or your thoughts 
so thank you everybody thank you everyone for your lovely comments and thank you Angela I will say well done she's doing amazingly well I am I'm just so proud of her I'm really proud of her and I'm looking forward to seeing her in May and, and spoiling her a bit so I'm gonna go now and I'm gonna hope that I can turn this off without my whole screen falling on the floor while the stand collapses <laughs> I'll speak to you all soon and I'm hoping I can do more lives. I'll try and make time for them if I can get the tech working and I'll speak to you soon. Bye everyone. How do I turn it off? This will be interesting. Okay, right. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.